Hi guys, welcome to the next part of my Dawnguard Let's Play, which is obviously main quest. Um, in this part, we're probably going to be completing off the quest Bloodline. I'm not sure, it depends on time at the end, uh, whether I'll be able to do another quest or not, but we'll see. So, we've got to lead Sarana to our home because we just do. Right, so, we've got to go this way. You can go back the other way if you want to, it doesn't really matter, um, but I prefer or would recommend that you go this way. Who's there? Uh, let's get some Dramora out. And let's see what we can do. These gargoyles are tough. Oh ho! Lag. Sorry about that lag, folks. That was super laggy. I hope we're not going to have to put up with this the whole way through. Um, gargoyles are good sources for ore material. Um, Random, generally. Uh, I don't think there's any ore up here. Uh, let's have a look over here. Oh, here look, here's a chest. Um, I'll just take that. Um, let's see up here. I think this is the way on, yeah. I didn't look at the book that I picked up. I haven't looked at it. Um, it just kind of goes on to dim. It just talks about dim hollow crypt and how all this, all the stuff around the edge is Nordic, but then this bit in the center seems to be rather recent and how it's completely different from everything else around the room. Um, and obviously it is because it's got Serana's coffin in it. I don't know how she survived in that dusty area for so long. Well, I suppose being a vampire helps. Does the air feel heavy down here? I'm a little woozy, but it might just be from waking up. No, you're... It's nothing wrong with the air, it's just because you're weird like that. Um, I don't think you can get back up if you fall down. You might be able to by going over that side and back along, but I don't think there's anything in it anyway. Let's get the bow on, because I'm going to try and do some sneak attacks. I don't think there's anything here. I'm not gonna bother looting that urn for the useless loot that it has. And let's see. Urn. I'll just search these for some useless items. There's a spell tome here. Necromantic healing. If I just read it, uh, read out what it says about it. Heals the undead to target 50 points per second, but not the living Atronachs and machines. So it's kind of like for vampire users, really. Uh, I'll just take that. I'll have leveled loot in it. So if I just get this spell. Uh, where is it? Restoration, isn't it? Oh, Lydia did the. Lydia, stop rolling. For God's sake. So now I can heal her. If I do this, it doesn't work. So obviously, if you want to heal Serana while she's a vampire, you can't use like heal of her or heal hands. Uh, you'll need to use necromantic healing, which does work, <laughs> oddly enough. I'll just kill that skeleton she reawoke and take the golden arrows back. I don't know why she she loves using uh, uh, dead re, uh, detect life or restore light spells or whatever they're called. Um, why does that look like it's buried in the ground? It's a shame I can't. Oh, there that explains it. Damn it! I could have gotten the soul off of that. Okay, that explains why I could see an interacting if it caused it to come to life. Uh, is there any more that'll come to life like that? I don't think so. Uh, let's continue because I know we're going to have to fight some Draugr anyway. Let's see. Right, they'll awaken. Draugr white. Oh, I got paralysed. I got paralysed. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, how awesome. And I don't even have any... Wow. Right, where's the Death Lord? 
Oh, I got paralyzed again. <laughs> okay, let's just kill this death lord. Easily. Oh, I got a great soul off of him. Oh, how awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. I think there's a chest behind. Yeah, there is. Behind the left hand one, there's a chest with some. Oh, oh there was two healing. Uh, ultimate stamina potions there. My god. I don't think she resurrected anything, did she? Oh. Skeleton. Nothing on you at all. Well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, someone started messaging me. I've put my status to busy so that I don't keep getting disturbed. I'll just quickly check. Nope, nothing there. So I needed to check that I had it done. Right, sorry about that. And yeah, you probably noticed a window open there for someone. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Let's see if I can do some sneak attacks. Uh, oh, a sneak attack. How oh, high also. What? What the, what the hell was that? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that was a weird glitch. Um, okay. Let's see if we can do some sneaking around here. I think we'll come across a... Okay. Oh, for I'm getting denied these sneak attacks, which is annoying. Um, don't think there's... Is Sarnak just going to give me away anyway? Stop resurrecting things, for goodness sake of Sarana. This is annoying. She does this a lot, uh, resurrecting stuff. Where's the arrow? There. Ow! Okay, I've just had to go into this. But come on, paralyze. I had so many good paralyzing attempts there that... I'm surprised that I'm not getting any at all. But let's see if we can... That's a dragon priest, yet yeah, I thought it would be. Because I've got like high level that every boss becomes a dragon priest by default. Oh god. Let's search the skeleton. There's nothing there. It's a, it's a dragon priest, an unnamed one, uh, mainly because of the fact that I'm so high leveled. Oh my god, that was a lag. Um, if you're lower leveled, then it will be a drug or death lord, or drug or death overlord. Oh come on, do a paralysis on this guy. Oh come on, die. How did I die? Okay, I'll kind of back to that point. Right, I'm back to this point again. Uh, let's hope this doesn't go all wrong. I've just saved before this point, so which is good if I get killed again. Oh, come on! I clearly hit. Hi, Josh SG. For coming on to Steam. Who's there? Oh, fuck. Okay, come on. Oh, I'm sick of Serana using spells. It's annoying. Right, where is that arrow that bounced off? Uh, he's got nothing on him. That's the mace. Okay, there's arrow and arrow. Let's see if I can get the dragon priest awoken. I'll just put them both out at the same time. Jamora, go and attack the right thing. Whoever keeps shocking me is getting very annoying. Oh, I got the critical strike. Oh, I got another critical strike. Oh, perfect. I now go all over the place. Okay, there he is. He's dead, and I got a grand soul off of him. There won't be anything much on this, maybe a couple of hundred gold. Now let's search the chest. Okay. That looks like a word wall. I'll just take that and that. 
Oh, I don't get the paralysis. Oh, 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 that's perfect. <laughs> I got the. Oh, I love getting that paralysis. It's so awesome. Wait, is that everything? I think it is. I think we're done here. Yeah. Look at this. This is the word wall. They've added these shouts to Dog Guard. How awesome. Stamina Drain Vitality. Uh, I don't really use that shout to be honest, Drain Vitality. Uh, I will make a bit of a point of reference here. Um, if you have one word of Marked for Death, as well as one word of uh, Drain Vitality, um, you'll start getting duplicated shouts appearing in your shout list. Um, I'm lucky enough because I went off for this character at one point during my False Scarlet's play and got all three words unlocked for Marked for Death. Um, so it's not going to happen, but if you have one word of Marked for Death and one word for Drain Vitality, the next time you get like a second word for Marked for Death or Drain Vitality, you start getting duplicated shouts. They actually work. They don't have any speech, but they, they do give the effects that they list. Um, more info about that is on the UESP. Serana, stop crouching. I'm not crouching. Uh, burnt corpse. I'll just loop that. Uh, I think there was something over here, isn't there? At least I think there is. Or is it just ore veins? Nope, there's nothing here. Okay, I think we're done with Dim Hollow Crypt. Yeah, I know they would die at the same time. So let's go this way. Uh, you can actually find the exit if you know what it is, but you won't be able to go through it because the chain is blocking the way out. So uh, stop crouching. Everything all right here? Yeah, everything's alright. Stop crouching. Uh, let's head back out to Skyrim then. And here we are. <sighs> it's so good to breathe again. This weather is incredible. <laughs> this must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. If you say so. Um, where have we got to go? So we'll come out on this path here that leads up to Meru's, uh, one of the paths that leads to Meru's Dagon Shrine. As well as near to Stonehill Bluff and over to Volenroot. Uh, so where do we have to go? Way over here. Ew. Okay, I can't see that very well because the mist is in the way. It's just somewhere down there. Um, I'm going to uh, fast travel to like Lost Circle Cave or Volskag. And then I'll cut to when I'm actually near to that marker. Right, I'm close to the marker point, but I've just seen the Horkers get under attack from bandits. There's one thing I want to explain in a sec. Oh god. Oh, a petty soldier I'm captured. Oh, sugar! I'm going to hit you, Lydia. Oh, I got the paralysis. So oh, I got it. Right, and um, off camera, I um, went back to White Run and smithed up loads of arrows for Lydia. She's got about like 250 dwarven arrows. Um, I enchanted a legendary dwarven bow that I had um, and gave it to her so now she's, she's got her a proper enchanted weapon bow essentially and can now um, use her own arrows instead of constantly using ebony ones, the ones that she always uses. Okay, Ice Wraith again. I think you could see the target they've got to go to. Oh, up to Oh bugger. I think you can see something in the distance there. That looks like a nice looking castle. Um, you can't see the castle unless you've got Dongard installed because it's obviously Dongard content. Um, this keep here is always here. It's base game. It's called Northwatch Keep. Um, it's part of a quest that someone in uh, Whiterun sends you on so I'm not going to show it um, obviously. Um, it's just a Falmor based quest. Um, yeah. We're not going to worry about the Falmor here. We're just going to ignore them. Uh, there's a keep up there, it's Frodo Tragstad's part of uh, the Imperial Legion Civil War quest line. Uh, like the initiation quest. And I think if we talk to this guy, he'll tell us to go away. Halt! Halt, yes. That's privileged information. Now, move along. Okay, we'll leave you alone. God, my render distance is actually so good I can actually see part of the stuff that we'll later see in a sec. Right there, so... 
What bow is that? Is Lydia seriously still I'm using her old you. bow? Oh god, come on, I Lydia. Sworn to carry your burdens. Please just use the bow I gave you. It's better than your pre existing one. Well, you've got 485 dwarven arrows. You don't need to be using your existing bow. And I can't even take it off her. Wow. Let's get going. <sighs> That's not good. I'm gonna have to find some way of getting it off her, to be honest. Um, so if we go along to here, this little jetty doesn't exist, obviously, unless you've got Dongart. Um, so. Oops, console didn't want that. But there's a animal over there, that mud crab. I'm gonna shoot it. Oh! Oh, that would have worked out so well if I got that. Ow! That was such a good kill cam too and it went right past. Oh. I'll just take that back. I just wanted to see how well it would work doing that soul siphon thing. What the heck was that that went flying past me? A dwarf and arrow. Now you see, this is the problem with followers is that they won't use the bows that you give them. I think there's a way of making them use it, so I'll see if I can try and do that. Um, oh god, Lydia's close. Right, let's see. Travel to Castle Volcahar. Travel to Castle Volcahar, I think is what I said there. Let's do it. Let's see, so if I move, it'll discover the location. There we go. Castle Volcahar discovered. Of course, this is just another place that's in its own world space. Um, if you've got a follower, and like you're, I'm going to be doing, siding with the Dawn Guard, uh, make sure you don't tell Lydia to wait, otherwise she will vanish and you'll have to teleport her. Um, I don't think there's much in the way of uh, things to look at. I can actually see Throat Heart Fragstad from here, which is actually pretty good. Sarna, are you going to talk to me about some it? I hope so. Ah, that's better. Nice and sunny. Come on. I'm pretty sure she's supposed to have dialogue, but I'm not going to walk up the whole distance just to get that dialogue. Hey, there so we go. Before we go in there, what is it? I wanted to thank you for getting me this far, but after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. Okay. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Okay, good. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Okay, I can do that. Right, there was some dialogue there from that guardsman. Uh, but I couldn't hear it because he was too far away. Okay, that's Northwatch Keep over there, which is surprisingly a far away when you think about it. Lord Harkin's a great man. Best show him the proper respect. In your opinion. So let's enter Volkahar Keep. Lydia's not going to be able to come with us into here. But let's enter. So as it says, I can't have a follower in here and so I can't take my hands out either. Is that truly you? Which is a pain. I cannot believe I should have really, you know, stayed outside Volkahar Keep. And of course, look at that, I can't get back out. Oh dear. I'm locked in here with no player controls. I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it. Yeah, neither can I not. Of course, I can very much believe it. My frame rate is actually super high this way. But there you go. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course. She has the scroll. To she has the scroll. Of course. Must I really say the vampire cattle? God, look like at all these vampires. They look all disgusting. But of course, as I said in the first part, uh, Lexar has now, no interest in joining the vampires. Stranger you have brought into our home. This is my savior. The one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. I know it's quite disappointing. I want to have Serana in shot as well. 
Uh, so I'd like to start Lothargo. Who are you? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. As I said before, they're, they're a lot more animated in Dawn Guard for some reason with their characters when they're talking to you. Yeah, you're a reclusive cannibal cult. Not quite. Though I can see how an outsider might arrive at that conclusion. No. We are vampires. Among well, of the course. See what I do. I just want to pick a different option style. just to be an ass. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. So, do I get a reward for finding your daughter? I hope I do. I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll. Well, that's the only one gift. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your <coughs> approach and you will Pardon never me. fear death again. Well, I don't want your gift, so fuck off. So what happens if I refuse your gift? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this well, of hall. course. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! And he goes crazy. You look disgusting anyway. Right, so at this point, this is when the quest splits. Um, so obviously all this bit up to now is stock. Everyone will play it up to the dawn, with the Dawn Guard for the first bit. And it's at this point when the quest will splinter. So obviously you can say I accept your gift and become a vampire. Or you can say I don't want to become a vampire, I refuse your gift. So I'm going to say I don't want to become a vampire, I refuse your gift. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I banish you. And he just spams a spell at us. Oh, Lydia, why did you teleport there? Please come back when we exit.